MCU has gifted us with some of the most memorable champions in movie history. From super spies to super soldiers to space raccoons, from noble kings to genius scientists to working class lawyers. The heroes of the Marvel Cinematic Universe prove that anyone can be a champion for justice, and the following list represents the best of the best. The top superheroes you'd want protecting you from evildoers everywhere. Or just in your eyeballs. These are the top 10 MCU heroes ever. Or until they make more of them. Not everyone, but you wanted more. Bruiserweight lawyer Matt Murdock, legal pitbull for the poor and pushed aside, has been battling the odds since he was a boy. The scandalous son of a salty boxer and a would-be nun, Matt was blinded at a young age and given the gift of ultra-sensitive sonar-like hearing thanks to the toxic sludge that coated him. Attorney by day and masked vigilante by night, this devil of Hell's Kitchen takes a beating in the name of justice like no other. Putting it all on the line against the likes of the Russian mob, Wilson Fisk, The Hand, and even Frank Castle, Murdoch will go down swinging in the name of ridding his city of corruption and evil. Shattering formidable glass ceilings, Margaret Peggy Carter went from codebreaker to SSR agent to, after World War II, becoming one of the founding members of S.H.I.E.L.D. A doggedly determined champion for peace and equality, Peggy would find herself drawn to Steve Rogers both before and after he took Abraham Erskine's super soldier serum. After Steve's apparent death, Peggy would thwart multiple threats to the world alongside Howard Stark, his butler Edwin Jarvis, the remaining Howling Commandos, and fellow agent Daniel Sousa. Like Nick Fury, Peggy is an absolute MCU throughline, acting as a constant moral inspiration for Captain America while appearing in five films, her own Marvel one-shot, and a two-season network TV series. It's over, Scotty. Sorry, but we got you, man. The MCU loves an unlikely hero, and they don't come any more unassuming than flaky former thief Scott Lang. In the midst of trying to turn his life around after a stint in prison, Lang was recruited by scientist Hank Pym and asked to don Pym's old Ant-Man suit while working up a heist that would stop Hydra from getting its hands on shrinking technology. This is gonna get weird, all right? It's, it's pretty freaky, but it's safe. Finding a new sense of purpose while wearing the suit, Scott would later survive Thanos' snap while in the quantum realm and thereby helping to discover that the micro-universe held the answers to recovering the Infinity Stones and restoring the countless lives lost. Whether incredibly small or 80 feet tall, Lang is the true wild card of the MCU, always surprising his foes with, well, close-up magic. How'd you do it, Scott? Do what? The car trick. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Those words may have caused Loki to scoff at the time, but the god of mischief wasn't smirking a few minutes later when he found his body thrashed to a pulp by scientist Bruce Banner's always angry alter ego, the Hulk. Puny god. Sure, Banner's unhinged green Goliath, the result of a gamma radiation overload, may sometimes work against the Avengers, as there's rarely a reliable method on hand to stop the Hulk once he ramps up into rampage mode, unless you're Black Widow, but there's no arguing that Banner, as both genius and brute, is a bona fide double threat. And now that he's fully merged the warring sides of himself into one form, he's near unstoppable. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. After the death of his father, King T'Chaka, at the hands of terrorist Helmut Zemo, Prince T'Challa was forced to not only take over as ruler of Wakanda, but also take up the mantle of Black Panther, the superhuman protector of his people. With enhanced strength and speed gifted to him by his land's heart-shaped herb and a high-tech suit made of vibranium, T'Challa is both an irresistible force and indestructible object, always ready to defend his country against ruthless smugglers, violent insurgents, and alien armies. A compassionate crusader, a noble monarch, T'Challa's legacy will never be forgotten, and neither will the life and career of the late Chadwick Boseman. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! Natalia Natasha Romanoff, once an enemy KGB agent who trained to be an expert assassin at a young age as part of the Black Widow program, found herself disavowing her old life and country and joining S.H.I.E.L.D. at the urging and encouragement of Clint Barton. As Nick Fury's top covert operative, Romanoff helped keep tabs on Tony Stark and eventually joined the ranks of the Avengers when Loki launched an alien invasion on New York. 
seeking redemption for her past misdeeds and eventually sacrificing her life to help bring back all those lost in Thanos' decimation, Romanoff was devoted to her friends, dedicated to her missions, and deadly to a T. I mean, look at yourself. Gifted high school student Peter Parker had barely ever stepped outside of Queens before being recruited by Tony Stark to help stop Captain America and his allies from protecting wanted fugitive Bucky Barnes. And with that, Parker and his surrogate son-style relationship with Tony became the beating heart of the MCU's Phase 3. As a child, whipping about in the deadly affairs of grown-ups and mad titans, young Parker has defeated Vulture, Shocker, disgruntled Stark Industries technician Mysterio, and his own fears about asking MJ out on a date. But it was Parker's death during the snap that hit Tony the hardest and eventually convinced the Armored Avenger to join the others in a time heist to retrieve the stones. Parker's wide-eyed optimism and eagerness to do good was exactly what the MCU needed, and it's exactly what the Avengers needed to undo all of Thanos' damage. Help! Somebody help! Hey, Queens. Heads up. Once the arrogant heir to all of Asgard, and then an exiled brat in need of absolution, Thor watched as his fallen adopted brother Loki waged war on a planet the God of Thunder had come to love and appreciate, Earth. Emotional and often temperamental, Thor would continue to help out on Earth, vanquishing Dark Elves, Hydra soldiers, Ultron drones, and more while trying to carve out his own path and destiny. One that didn't involve ruling over Asgard. Whether he's pining for his lost love Jane Foster, bickering with Loki, getting into friendly scrapes with the Hulk, or eating tons of carbs out of guilt, Thor is the entertainingly excitable member of the Avengers. There is no Avengers without Iron Man, and there's no Iron Man without a traumatized and terrorized Tony Stark having a change of heart and transforming from an arrogant womanizing weapons dealer into a still arrogant armored hero who helps Nick Fury spearhead and mold the Avengers. Tony's story came ferociously full circle when he gave his life to snap Thanos and his entire army out of existence using the Infinity Gauntlet, fulfilling a promise he'd made to essentially create, or in this case become, a suit of armor around the world. And just from a franchise standpoint, it was Robert Downey Jr.'s pitch-perfect performance as Tony and Jon Favreau's comedy drama blueprint for the first Iron Man movie that laid the foundation for all the MCU films that followed. When creating America's first ever super soldier, you have to consider the character of the man first and foremost. Courage, honor, and honesty are paramount, and that's why undersized, emaciated, bully basher Steve Rogers was the right choice to become the world's pioneering, and as it would turn out, only perfect serum specimen. The world surely mourns the loss of Iron Man, but what of the giant void left behind by Captain America's overdue retirement? Rogers saved the world from both the Nazis and Hydra in the 40s, and then, after being frozen for decades, returned to help stop global incursions from all sides and fronts as a member of the Avengers, always acting as the team's stubborn conscience, which meant wanting to do right all the time, even if it meant losing. A born leader, a devout best friend, and an unparalleled hero, Cap is the paragon of virtue at the heart of the MCU. Avengers! Assemble. That's our list. Who are your top 10 MCU heroes? And who are you most excited to see coming up in the next phases? Let's discuss in the comments. And for more on the MCU, check out our show Cannon Fodder, which has been unpacking every episode of WandaVision this season. And remember, for everything comic books, movies, TV, entertainment, streaming, and all of the various intersections thereof, keep it right here on the IGN Cinematic Universe.